Hey everyone, about a week ago I did a comparison between three different types of Elementor pages. They were very basic with just a header and a hero banner. And I did them like this with one which was using columns, section and columns, and inner sections as well. Another version where every section was literally just one column. So the header was one column, the hero banner was another column. And then I did another version where this time I was using the Flexbox containers. Again, one container for the header, one container for the uh, hero banner as well. And with containers, the way you lay things out with many, many items is that if I just click on this container here, just to make sure I'm on the right one, when you go to the items, the way it's been laid out is as a row and you're wrapping the row and you can see my settings. And then if you start to give some of your items like a custom width, you can get them to wrap a certain way. The same logic applies when you are using the one column as well with Elementor, with the header and the hero banner. So this is all one column, right? You know, you got a fake logo headline there with a uh, navigation menu. Custom width allows them to sit side by side, just like here. These are custom whips side by side, whereas the old traditional way that some people work is they would put an inner section in like what you've got here. Now, some people did comment and they were absolutely right to comment because the intention about this was I was never going to do just the header and the hero banner. I was going to expand on this and look at the page speed scores, uh, the DOMs, you know, how many elements are being loaded and things like that. So now what I've done to all three pages is expand on it. Not massively. We haven't got anything amazing going on with sliders and videos. I kept it quite simple. Imagine this is a simple website. So what we now have on this version, which is the section and columns and inner sections, is we have a section. We then have three columns over here, three columns with uh, three call to actions. The one column website is now literally just one column. And these items, three call to actions, I've all got a custom width applied. Look, there you go. Custom width, 33.3. You can't miss it, okay? And when we go to the containers, this again is just one container. And again, it's the same logic with the custom whips being applied, 33.3%. Let's go back to the first website again, where we, we are using many columns. Down here then, I did another like, like almost like a midsection hero banner almost in a way with an image. Again, we have an inner section because I've got a section with a background image and some headline. And then I've got an inner section with two buttons. The one column approach is just one column with custom width, right? It's one column. And the container also is one container. And it's using, again, the row, the wrap functionality. And again, you're just using custom width. And then the very last thing I did on the website after that was I then just made a complete copy of what we had up here. I'm just duplicating it below now. And the same with the other websites as well. And the only reason I did that was just to pad it out a bit, okay? Again, Bo, when you look at this, it's not really doing anything amazing. You know, there's no slideshow, there's no carousels. But I just wanted to get across that a lot of home pages and websites might not have carousels. They might not have videos on there or anything like that. All three pages have been optimized as well for the mobile. That was quite important when it comes to reviewing it um, on the mobile page speed score and all of that. So all three have been optimized as well. So what did I find when I put these through in terms of the page speed scores for the mobile and desktop? Um, how many DOMs were there? And what about the size of the page? Now, as a reminder, we have three types of websites, okay? We have the one column approach, which, sorry, not the one column approach, the section and columns and inner section. Then we have the one column approach where every section is just one column. Not two columns, not three columns, one column. And we use custom width to get things to sit side by side or however we want. And then we had the Flexbox container, which is again using custom widths. Now here's the results that I was getting and you can see them over here on the side, okay? For the columns one that uses inner sections as well, the mobile score was 61 and the desktop was 83. When we go to the, uh, the second website, which is one column now, section, one section, one column or one column per section. God, I've got to explain this in a better way, don't I? We had 63 and 83. So the desktop, practically no difference. And I ran these at the same time. 
several times, by the way. OK, so don't just think, oh, your scores are a bit funny. No. So the mobile was a little bit better, but the desktop was still 83. And when we did the containers one, the mobile score was a, was not that much better than the one column approach at 63. And the desktop was 86. Now, I will I won't lie. They always fluctuated within one or two percent of these scores. Right. But they were always near enough in the same order. This website did have the fonts preloaded. It did have the elemental experiments enabled as well. But what it didn't do was have any optimization plugins added. No WP Rocket, no Asset Cleanup, no WP Fastest Cache, nothing like that. This website only had two plugins, Elemental and Elemental Pro. That is it. And it only had the Hello theme, right? So there's no optimization going on. And you can see the scores, you know, they're relatively not too far off. The interesting though is the DOM how many elements were being loaded. So on the website with the inner section, we had 300. And then it went down to 272 when we had one column. And on the Flexbox container, it went to 256. That kind of fits the logic of how I thought it was going to work out. Less DOM, less things being coded on, because when you're not using inner section, it's less code for sure. But it kind of was better. Not groundbreaking, though. It's not like it went from 300 to 150. You know, it went down, but it wasn't a huge amount. But then again, 300 to 256 with a Flexbox container. I'll take that. But the interesting thing was the size. Now, if you recall on the website, we did have a fair few images on there. We had an image at the top. We had three more images uh, when we had the call to actions. We had the midsection hero banner that then had another image in the background. And then we repeated the hero banner from above. So in total, that's what? One, two, three, six images, right? They were WebP'd, so they were optimized images, but they were WebP. Now for the columns, the inner section, the first website, 57.5 kilobytes was the entire page. The one column approach, well, you can see the score there, it improved and it improved even more when we went to the Flexbox container. So what is this proving at the moment? Well, whether you do the sections and one column approach or the Flexbox container, you're going to have an improvement on the number of DOMs that are being rendered and loaded in and the size of your page. Is it going to be a massive difference for your page speed performance? Not really. So in terms of mobile and desktop, they're kind of relatively the same. So nothing to write home about. However, if I was to stick sliders into this and videos, maybe something else would happen. Maybe if I add in more images, maybe if I go and add in Google Maps, who knows? I'll wait to see your comments in, do you want me to go down that road? But I think this was enough if you imagine a basic homepage, you know, slightly expanded with a bit more content. It goes to show that there are improvements when you change your method methodology, but it's not a groundbreaking massive difference. But that being said, don't overuse in the sections. Try not to use them at all. Try to use custom width. Try to use less columns. And hopefully we'll have the final Flexbox container sometime soon so that we can all make a switch to using that because it does have an impact on the score. Uh, or the DOM and the page speed. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'm Imran Web Squadron, and I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing.